In 2004, a new car show blasted onto MTV. It was called Pimp My Ride and featured rapper Exhibit as the host. Despite a relatively short three-year run and various problems that we'll get into later, Pimp My Ride has a special place in the hearts of many gearheads. Call it nostalgia. But the story didn't end there. Pimp My Ride came back 15 years later. In August 2022, MTV UK produced six episodes of a brand new Pimp My Ride series. For the most part, reception via YT comments seems to be positive. Most negative comments center around insane insurance premiums. This remake seems to have the spirit of the original even if it has a few major differences. Welcome to the largest dedicated car show channel on YouTube, Tuna No Crust. A lot of our viewers aren't subscribed, so if you aren't yet subscribed, you should do so as we are coming out with some exciting new content very soon. So we all know the deal with modern reboots. Your favorites come back, but not the same. Can fans of the old show enjoy the remake? Is it good for getting younger people into the show? Let's dive into 10 ways this ride got pimped. So today we're gonna to be converting a car that comes all the way from Japan. Now, despite it traveling halfway around the world, this busted whip can't even get out the driveway. But all that's gonna change. So get ready to say konnichiwa to a pimped out car. We're back, baby. It's Pimp My Ride! Number one, the premise is the same. The premise of Pimp My Ride is mostly the same between the two shows. In the original version, clients would beg MTV to turn their clunker cars into amazing looking, albeit extravagant vehicles that suited their personalities. The original Pimp My Ride ran from March 2004 to December 2007. It had six seasons and a little over 70 episodes. Various other countries, including Great Britain, had alternate versions of Pimp My Ride. The new version starts the same way. Young vehicle owners from across England beg MTV UK to pimp their rides. They tell the host any ideas they have, what they like about the car as it is, and so on. The team then gets to work modifying it, often doing a major overhaul. Nothing different here except the location. Number two, the music is the same. The theme of the original Pimp My Ride brings nostalgic tears to many a gearhead's eyes. The good news is that it's back, completely unaltered from the original. Fans of the old Pimp My Ride will be overjoyed to hear the Pimp My Ride theme coming from their computers or phones. All that's changed here is the format. So I thought I'd bring something completely different to the table today. This is owned by Yaz. She's 24 and she's from North London. She okay. got this when she was 17 and it doesn't really represent her personality. So okay. we need to get it a bit more stylish, All right. sustainable, All right. cool. sexy. Number three, the host is different. When Pimp My Ride moved to the UK, it really moved to the UK. That meant a new host and a new garage. Exhibit, the old host for the American release who had some issues including tax evasion, got replaced with British rapper Lady Lesher. And if you don't think a female rapper can get excited about cars, think again. Lady Lesher's energetic personality extends to the clients and cars alike. Her vibe was a great fit for the show. Some people are annoyed by her voice, but that's a personal preference. Number 4. The Garage is Different in the reboot, West Coast Customs, Galpin Autosports in Seasons 5 and 6, has been replaced by the one-stop auto repair shop in Surrey, UK called Wrench Studios. When they put studios in their name, they meant it. All their cars are drivable works of art. The crew has specialized professionals for every aspect of the garage, so you know extra love and care goes into these customs. But don't let a different crew get you down. The members of the garage were all fans of the original show and were giddy to modify cars for this reboot. As the owner puts it, they've been pimping rides for around a decade. If you're liking the video so far, we'd appreciate it if you'd pimp out that like button by smashing it as hard as you can. Number 5. It's Shorter Older fans might find how short the new Pimp My Ride is surprising. Each new episode is only 15 minutes long and there are only 6 episodes. Counting all that up, you can finish the entire run of the new Pimp My Ride in an hour and a half. If you only have a half hour to spare, you can chop it up, but the new Pimp My Ride is easy to binge. That's a blessing and a curse. One of the other issues people have with this version of Pimp My Ride is that the episodes need to be longer. If they can afford to do it, maybe the team will come up with longer episodes in the future. 
Number 6. It's Greener Than Before Fans of the older show will notice one thing about the new show. It's oddly environmentally conscious. Specifically, this new Pimp My Ride emphasizes reusing old car parts and DIY work. The older one gave fewer flips about a lot of things and sustainability was one of them. One of the episodes has the upcycled upgrade idea right in the title. But the reasoning behind this eco-friendly angle is not as green as you might think it is. It probably has more to do with one of the show's sponsors than with any environmental initiative. On that note, number 7. It's sponsored by eBay There are four separate companies involved with this iteration of Pimp My Ride, MTV UK, Paramount UK, Mediacom UK, and eBay. Right away, you can tell that one of these things is not like the other. We understand the involvement of big media and TV companies, but what's eBay doing there? The answer is a lot simpler than you think. eBay has a large market for used car parts. Specifically, the internet's biggest auction site has a certified recycle hub for the buying and selling of pre-owned parts. And these hosts seem to love buying things on eBay. Hmm. eBay is visible everywhere on the show. Technically, we should be calling the show Pimp My Ride in partnership with eBay, as per the official title eBay's logo is plastered all over the trailer on every shirt and every time someone buys something online. So while the hosts are pimping their rides, eBay is pimping their service. Fair enough. Number 8. The Cars Actually Work To properly discuss this point, we must point out a major flaw of the original Pimp My Ride. Many of the changes were, well, extra. The whole point was to make the cars look amazing. They did not have to work. And while there's nothing wrong with wanting a flashy car, there were suspicious things about some of the changes. Like, is it legal to have a jacuzzi in your car? And rumor has it that the cotton candy machine that got put into one of the vehicles was both not requested and added because the client was overweight. Some of the changes even made the modified cars dangerous. The whole point might have been to make the cars look good, but in the end, it was not a good look. The reboot of Pimp My Ride takes a different approach. The first episode even has one guy needing his undrivable ride pimped. Yes, the cars still look good, but the mechanics in the garage also fix the cars. I don't see any fish tanks in these cars and that's probably a good thing. The sound system and TV in the back of one of the cars are still pretty cool though. Focusing on making the cars work was probably the wiser move in the long run. Even if the car looks a little less awesome, that's better than a potential lawsuit and safer for everyone involved. Fans of the original show have praised the new version for its focus on safety and drivability. Come to think of it, doesn't this make Pimp My Ride a little more like Fast and Loud? Food for thought. It's not a bad thing in any case. Number 9. It encourages car owners to pimp their rides But unlike Fast and Loud, the new Pimp My Ride comes with a twist. Savvy mechanics are encouraged to do DIY projects of their own. Even though the episodes are short, they don't skimp on how hard and fun it can be to pimp one's ride. Some of the clients tried to modify their cars before getting on the show. Unlike Fast and Loud, where you should never try what Rawlings is doing at home, eBay wants you to pimp your ride, preferably using the pre-owned parts from their website. Number 10. You can watch it for free the best thing about the new Pimp My Ride, however, is not anything we have mentioned. What if we told you that you could watch every episode of this new Pimp My Ride right now for free on the same website that you were on right now? Because you can! All six of the new bite-sized Pimp My Ride episodes are on the YouTube channel for MTV UK. It's listed as an ad so you know what you're getting but it's still entertaining. Again, these episodes are only 15 minutes long, so there's no harm in giving them a shot. MTV UK not only has all six new episodes up for your viewing pleasure, but you can also watch some old episodes of Pimp My Ride on their channel. This is a media company that respects the original property. If you have not seen a single episode of the new Pimp My Ride, look it up on YouTube after this video. It's all free and the episodes won't take much of your time. Most movies take longer and cost more. See for yourself if the shorter remake captures the attitude of the original. So, what do you think? Did watching an episode of the new Pimp My Ride inspire you to get creative in your garage? 
Do you buy used parts to save two kinds of green, or do you prefer to buy them new? Finally, if you were a fan of the original Pimp My Ride, what do you think of the new show? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. We promise the bell isn't part of an unsafe vehicle we didn't ask for. Don't forget to check our crusty merch, the link will be in the description below, and we'll see you next time.